Hello and welcome! A few days ago I have received this diamond fishing hook sharpening device and I'd say that it works very well. I've already put it to the test and some of the hooks are pretty sharp already and ready to be used. Before I begin and show you how to properly use this tool, you can like the video if you'll find it useful so that Google algorithm would rank it higher in search, which will allow more people to see it, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to support it and see more fishing gadgets like this one. I publish my videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. There isn't much to tell about this tool, it has two sides, a rough one and a smoother one with the hook grooves on both sides. It has a plastic dip handle to ensure your grip remains tight and comes with a yellow lanyard which I will exchange with another one. In the end of this video, I will tell you my personal opinion on why you don't need this tool. Let me show you the correct and easy way to sharpen hooks with it and as an example I will use this lure. The main thing that you need to concentrate on is your grip on the hook as if you'll hold it incorrectly, there is a possibility that you might damage your hands and the sharpening process will seem pretty hard. Don't hold it this way as the hook will move when you'll be sharpening it. Put your thumb against two hook points that you don't want to sharpen and your index finger on the top of it. Your middle finger goes on the shaft of the hook. The other two fingers can easily hold the lure now. As you can see, that way you've got a good grip on the treble and can hold the lure to get it out of the way. You need to sharpen both sides of the hook and the front edge. I'm not really bothered about the inside of the hook. Try to keep the same angle when you are sharpening each side. I do it about 5-7 times on each side and it's more than enough. If you do it away from the point, that is incorrect way to do it. Instead, you have to do it this way if you want to sharpen hooks properly. 5-7 times would be enough. As you can see, the hook is pretty sharp now, so the tool does work as promised. Now, I would like to tell my personal opinion why I don't think you need this tool, but it is only my opinion and you are the one who decides whether you need one or not. First of all, let us talk about the price, which is about $9 for the tool that has only one purpose and over here we've got another one which can be used for the same but has other features in it like hook eye cleaner, line cutter and knot tying tool and costs only $7. So why to pay more for the tool which has only one function if you can buy a better one which has four and is cheaper. But again, it is your choice. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and it was useful and I'll see you in the next one on Thursday. Thank you for watching.